Hey guys, this is Colonial Puppet. I am extremely tired. It is 1.36 a.m., uh, but I thought, I fuck it, I will start a YouTube series. This is Let's Build a Stadium. Um, this is episode one of Let's Build a Stadium, where you guessed it, I will be building a stadium in Minecraft. Um, and as you can see, I'm not in Titan City. For those of you who don't know, Titan City is the city that... I've been building for like the past f almost five years now. Um, I did a lot of let's builds within the city, but now I'm not building directly in the city anymore. I build on maps like this, where it's just super flat, and then I copy and paste um, the structures I build here and place them into Titan City via uh, MC Edit. Uh, you might notice, uh, you might recognize this building from my last video. Uh, the time-lapse video I did of it. Uh, this is now in Titan City. Um, I copy-pasted it this uh, afternoon. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm going to be working from now on. And this is where I'm going to build a stadium uh, that will be the subject of this series. Uh, so far, all I have is this uh, really simple uh, diagram of a stadium. Um, this is the field. It's a scale model. This is the field. Um, and I have it split into, this is basically my understanding of a, a stadium. You have two sides, uh, the home side and the away side. Um, how I'm going to be building this, uh, this is going to be side A, this is going to be side B, that's how I'm going to be numbering things once I actually start building the stadium. Um, in this episode, we're going to be focusing on the, uh, uh, the field of the stadium. Uh, so basically, I'm going to start really far away from this so I have plenty of space because these things get huge. Or I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to get pretty big um, in terms of size. Basically, fields are uh, about 53 blocks um, by 120 blocks. So the field itself is 100 blocks plus uh, the two end zones, which are usually 10 meters or 3 feet or uh, three blocks. Um, to my understanding, a block in Minecraft is a meter by a meter by a meter. A meter is about three feet. Um, football fields are divided into yards. Yards are exactly three feet, so we're just going to assume that a block is a yard, even though it's 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 close enough. So basically, we're going to use a block as a yard. So football fields are 100 yards, so 100 blocks. Um, end zones are 10 yards each, so 100 plus 20 is 120. Um, and then I just I, I looked up the width and it said it's just over 53 yards. It's like 53 yards and one foot. So we're gonna round that down to 53 blocks. So that's how we're gonna be splitting up the uh, the field. So I'm just gonna start with uh, grass, and I'm playing in the latest version of Minecraft, so um, for the lines, the white lines in the field, I'm going to be using um, this concrete dust. Uh, I, I don't follow the console versions of Minecraft, so uh, if it uh, if they don't have uh, this concrete dust yet, uh, white wool will work just fine, uh, but I, I'll compare the two. As you can see, um, oops, as you can see, um, the white concrete dust is uh, a lot more uh, visually similar to grass than the uh, white wool. The white wool kind of has a crease to it, whereas uh, white concrete dust is basically like the same texture, just white. So we're going to be using that for um, the lines. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. And while I work on this, I kind of want to explain myself and why I haven't been making videos a lot and why I haven't been working on the Let's Build an Airport series for like the past half year. Um, but yeah, let me count out 100 first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 
55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. All right, 100. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I've been extremely busy which is why I haven't been posting a lot of videos in general. Uh, I just graduated from college, which is cool. And um, a lot of the last projects I've had, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, how am I gonna do this actually? Because um, there's a line every 10 yards, right? So I, I guess on every 10th block I have to put it? Hmm don't know. Find out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 30, 40, and then this is going to be like the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's the 50 yard mark, right? Hmm. This is going to be weird. It's going to be, it might end up being 101 meters, which I know isn't up to code, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops, that's wool. Ten. I got a new recipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, so see how that ends with white but that does not all right so I might just have to do this boom hmm or actually wait I have to look at a diagram because I'm I'm an idiot one second google.com images uh football field diagram oh, fuck I'm an idiot aren't I okay so that looks about right I'm just gonna like refer back to that every once in a while cuz um, yeah there wouldn't be a line there I guess they're okay whatever um, I'll start at the the mid mark then one two three four five so this is 50 yards I'm gonna just start doing the numbering right now um, but yeah what was I talking about oh yeah why have it been making videos so uh, like the past couple of months months have been super busy 50 um, had a lot of final projects with the end of school as I know it. I've been a student since I was four years old. I'm no longer a student. I have graduated college. I, I don't plan on going to grad school anytime soon. Um, or it has not, I have not been incentivized to do it. And plus, uh, in my major, they don't really advise you to uh, go right into grad school uh, after you've earned your bachelor's and they encourage you to have some like work experience um, so yeah I've been busy graduating from school uh, doing some art shows like uh, not curating but like working on financing and uh, setting up and taking down art shows uh, but that's been taking up a lot of my time uh, working on a lot of like all my final projects were group projects for some weird reason uh, which Group projects are not fun. Okay, this is going to be interesting. 
these are some big ass numbers. Um, so it's fifty, right? Hmm. And then I guess this is. And then it just counts down. Okay, cool. So this is going to be four. Correct. Am I even going to have enough room? Like, here's my issue. Like, I want this to be, like, accurate in terms terms of size, but I also don't want it to look stupid. Like, the numbers are, like, right up against each other. Like, that is the 40-yard mark, correct? Or am I just really bad at math? I don't know. But, yeah, uh, I was working in, at art shows. Oh, yeah, group projects. Like, every class I took was, like, a group project for my final project which uh, I mean I guess some people could see as like easy but I, I really don't want to be like that guy in the group that like doesn't do anything so like I I feel overly committed to group projects just like out of fear of, of like getting shit on like when it comes time to like uh, grade each individual's uh, like input into the project I don't want to be like the dude that everyone shits on because he didn't do shit so naturally I like I work extra hard on group projects and uh, so that took up a crap load of time uh, especially with my um, my one class in, uh, included coding it was a coding class uh, it was like web design so like CSS HTML like JavaScript that kind of shit and those kind of projects are the worst for group projects because like everyone has their own uh, way of organizing their code so when you're working with a partner well first of all when you're working with a partner and you're doing um, like coding it's 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 hard to work on your own because it's like there isn't like it, it's it's hard to explain but like it's like when you make changes to code it's like you can't both work separately on it because like you need to like have like one set of files but you can't both edit it at the same time so like I'll be making changes to the code while they're making other changes to the code and then it's just a pain in the butt to like combine those changes why the fuck did I just put a six I need to put a three I'm an idiot All right. Boom. Three. <laughs> this is so ugly. Holy shit. But yeah, so uh, I was working with a bunch of group projects, um, finding a job. Uh, so I'm moving to the city. I'm not going to specify which city because, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to give out all my personal information. But I'm moving to a metropolitan area in the eastern United States. Um, and basically I found a place before I found a job in this city or I didn't find the place my friend f found a place we've been talking about I've been talking with my friends about living with them for like the past month or six months half a year right and uh, they found a place my one friend who already lived in the city found a place um, and like the move-in date was super early, like June 1st. Like technically, I should be living there right now, but I, I don't. I, I'm paying rent for the place, but I'm not actually living there. Um, but yeah, and holy shit, I'm an idiot. Why is this not working? All right, so that's the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That should work. Wait. Do you see my confusion? All right, so this is the 50 yards. 40. All right, holy shit, my brain hurts. What am I, what am I missing here? Um, let's see. 50, 40, 30, 20. That is the 50 yard mark, correct? So it's like, I guess, holy shit, all right. Am I going crazy right now? This is... Alright. Oof. This is the 10, right? Wow. 
why is there one left over? Unless I did this wrong and this isn't actually the 50 yard mark. 40, 30, 20, 10. I think that's what I did. Okay, so I can work with that. Um, but yeah, you move to here. All right, you're running. So this line is 10 yards, then that's 20, then that's 30, then that's 40, then that's 50. All right, cool. All right. But yeah, so basically, um, my friend had a, a place picked out in the city um, with an extremely early moving date. So like I was graduating and then the lease needed to be signed uh, by like that same week that I graduated or like the the following week so it's like I went right from school to worrying about living in this new new house um, and I hadn't even began to uh, I didn't even begin to look for jobs in the area which is what I've been rushing to do now I still don't have a job lined up uh, I have several interviews but yeah it's it's a pain in the butt right now so that's what I've been dealing with um, that and yeah, those are the main things that and just normal work have been eating up my time so that's where I've been that's why I haven't been putting out as much content as I would like to um, but I graduated and school is no longer eating up my time Still have work to worry about, still have finding a job to worry about, but um, I, I definitely have more free time than I have had in the past couple months, which is why I'm doing this right now, um, albeit at a really shitty hour, it's almost 2 o'clock right now, but uh, I have off work tomorrow, so I should be good, it's Sunday, I had work tonight, which is why I'm doing this so late. I'd work until 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. sorry um, but yeah and I hope the mic's picking me up I, I'm kind of moving away from it I, I when I see people like using the blue snowball which is the type of mic I have uh, they're always really far away from it but it sounds fine so I feel like I get too close sometimes which is why some of my videos may pop uh, so I'm not trying to talk directly into the snowball so hopefully it's coming out fine um, but yeah so this is three or 30 yards um, but yeah now why haven't I been doing the airport let's build well um, a lot of it has to do with what I just spent the past half hour or couple minutes talking about um, with uh, school being a pain in the butt um, and work being a pain in the butt and finding a new place to live being a pain in the butt or new workplace for the uh, new place that I'm living uh, that was all pain which is why I haven't been working on the airport so let's build but also um, I lost a lot of that work on uh, when my um, hard drive failed in my computer uh, it was surprising this is a at the time that the hard drive failed which was like half a year ago I had this computer for like just over a year and the hard drive already failed it was like what the fuck it was a like W3 hard drive um, the mechanical hard drives are pretty bad uh, which is why if you like have the choice to always go SSD there's like literally nothing there's like no downsides to an SSD well that's not true it's extremely expensive and if they do fail it's like impossible to get your work off of them but um, compared to mechanical hard drives they're like a lot better they uh, they're silent, so they use and they're they're silent. They use less power, um, so you'll you'll see an increase in battery life. Um, they drastically improve the performance of your computer, is what I've heard. Like if you have a shitty laptop that's a couple years old, and you put an SSD in it, if it doesn't have one already, you should like 
it should last you another couple of years just because of the uh, increase in in uh, in performance is what I've heard one two three four five six seven eight nine okay. seven eight nine cool so I think we're good I think I fixed it fixed the issue um, but yeah I had a mechanical hard drive it just like randomly started failing uh, which I was kind of surprised given that it was like a year and a half old computer but alas it, it decided to fail on me I lost like basically the um, uh, when I first started like actually laying out the the uh, the landing strips and stuff for the airport like all that work I did is I lost so I'm gonna have to rebuild that before I start doing it again and I've just been so busy that I, I haven't gotten around to doing that um, but yeah so I should be doing that I also want to start the um, parking garage portion of that let's build which I may be doing pretty soon alright so can get rid of that. So yeah, I just started wrong. I started in the wrong place. Fill that in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, these should all be nine. I think we're good. So yeah, uh, the numbers are a bit huge, but that's totally fine by me just as long as it's to scale or at least like partially to scale um, so next I want to figure out um, the width of this thing so I said 53 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 33, Alright, so that's 53 blocks. That's how wide it's going to be. So yeah, um, I kind of want to give an update on my channel. I've been thinking of uh, doing Twitch for some time. It seems like the logical next step for like the kind of content that I, I make. Um, these really long uh drawn out tutorials and just let's builds like I think would be perfect for Twitch. So those of you who like follow my stuff should write a comment saying if uh doing Twitch seems like a good idea for me. Cuz I don't know, it just makes sense. Like I feel like I'd have a lot more to talk about if there was like a, a comments a stream of comments coming at me or like questions rather than me just like I'm literally sitting alone in my room talking to myself or talking into a microphone which kind of feels weird I don't know uh, I feel like twitch would make more sense um, for these for this like kind of format um, but uh, I could be wrong uh, let me know if, if you think that's a horrible idea or a not bad idea I don't know man um, but yeah, I also have, I, I don't know, I, I, I never mention my, like, uh, anything outside of YouTube, really, but yeah, if you go to, like, my channel's main page, like, in the banner, you'll see, uh, social media buttons to, uh, the Colonial Puppet Twitter, which is basically my personal Twitter, um, but it's, I, it's branded as the Colonial Puppet Twitter, so if you want to follow that I do update like I'll, I'll post pictures of like minecraft renders that I make or like video game screenshots shit like that um, also I like shit post like crazy on my twitter but that's alright um, but yeah if you want to follow the twitter you can I also have a facebook which I rarely if ever um, update uh, a vidme which I haven't updated in a while, but I do want to upload some more videos to that. It's basically going to be a mirror of my YouTube channel. 
on Vidme, uh, which is just like another video streaming platform. Not a lot of people use, but I don't know. It's people are really pissed at YouTube all the time, so I thought it'd be safe just to have another source of uh, videos. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why are the animals just lining up on that? Man. I'm also working on another video. That's another thing. The videos that I have been working on are like a big commitment. Um, this was six and a half hours worth of building that I, I had to edit. Uh, didn't take that long to edit, but for some reason, um, Adobe Premiere, like all the Adobe products, I have the Adobe Creative Cloud and they've just been like slowly getting slower and slower to use. It's like ridiculous. I don't know what it is. It's like, I mean I've had the same computer for two years but like I don't know what it is. All my other programs like I, I've seen little to no change in performance, or mostly no change in performance. but. For some reason, Adobe, it's like Premiere. I use I usually use Premiere to edit. It's like ridiculous. Like every time I make a change to the timeline, it like stutters and like lags, and I have to like wait like a good thirty seconds to a minute for my uh, uh for the program to like regain its composure. I I can't I can't like work. Like I I don't know how many people watch that video all the way through, but like the last. Uh, like the last 20 seconds of it where there's like six uh, videos going on at once like that like took an hour uh, that was like only 15 seconds and it took like an hour to render every time I made a change it was it, like it's getting like impossible to work with um, I, I recently deleted some stuff uh, hopefully I can get it running smoothly again but I looked online and a lot of people were complaining that like uh, Creative Cloud is getting a lot slower and like unbearably slow. Uh, could be my computer. Could have been the fact that I had what? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like ten, ten eighty p, no, eleven, ten eighty p uh, videos going on at the same time on one, uh, one uh, at one instance. So that could have been it, but I mean, even then, it's like every time I make a change, like even when there's just like one, uh, one layer of video, it's like I, I make one change to the timeline, and then I have to wait like a minute at least for Premiere to catch up and like start working again. And what I be what I mean by that is like the preview window. So like there's the editing and there's like the editing timeline, but then there's like the preview. It's like that preview doesn't work at all. So like I can't see the video that I'm editing. I don't know. It's really frustrating. But yeah, that's what I've been dealing with, unfortunately. Why does that look so off? I guess it's because the numbers. Okay. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I mean, my computer is, I should be able to get a, another year or two out of it. It's only two years old. It's, um, I definitely want to upgrade. Um, I was complaining about my hard drive failing and how um, SSDs are so much better. I, I, this thing has a mechanical hard drive still. Uh, when it failed, it was like during finals for the fall semester um, of this past year, and so I needed a hard drive, and I was broke at the time, and like I said, uh, SSDs are amazing, but they are expensive, so I didn't have the uh, money to uh, throw at a, an SSD. Uh, so I had to buy like a $60 terabyte mechanical hard drive. So that's what it has now. It was an upgrade. Uh, this thing had like 750, 750 gigabytes. Um, but yeah, got another mechanical hard drive. So I bought myself some time, but ultimately when I'm in a better financial state, I want to buy an SSD. Two, three, five. 
Um, there's there's a couple uh, upgrades I want to do to this laptop. Um, starting with the hard drive, want to get an SSD. That's like the one thing you can do to your computer that's like the most noticeable. Uh, it will cause the most notable increase in performance is, is upgrading to a solid state drive. Uh, then I want to put more memory in it. It has 12 gigabytes. Uh, it had it came with eight, and I had a four gigabyte stick laying around from my old computer, so now it has 12. Um, I want to put another eight gigabyte a stick in, and I max it out to 16 gigs. Um, I do want to upgrade the CPU, which I know a lot of people say is stupid uh, to do to a laptop for some reason, but I mean, it's not soldered in or anything. Um, I've taken it out before, um, just out of curiosity, I was like playing around with it. Um, and also to replace like the thermal paste on it, it kind of gotten dry, I didn't want it to overheat, so yeah. Um, but it's a dual core uh, computer. It has four virtual cores, but I mean, that's not like much better. <laughs> I feel like you need like four physical cores at least. Now it's like eight cores are becoming like the, the whatever, but um, I mean, I feel like four cores, four physical cores is a must have, especially when like rendering. Like it's funny, my, uh, my, the computer before this uh, was a pretty bad, um, pretty bad at playing games because uh, it didn't. It had like integrated graphics. It had like the HD Intel HD like 4000 graphics or whatever. It didn't have like a a dedicated um, graphics card. This one has like the I can actually look. It's the GTX 950M, the Nvidia GTX 950M. Which I don't know. I mean, I I don't really care about graphics. I actually like, um, not shitty graphics, but like I really could care less about graphics. I'm more of like, if if like Minecraft, like if I can blow stuff up, then I'm perfectly happy. Like I put physics before graphics any day of the week. That and I kind of like the like the nostalgic aesthetic of like PS2 and like Xbox era games. So like I'm not really like a graphics queen. Twenty thirty. But like for rendering stuff, it's like you need a good CPU. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my other computer had a quad core that ran a lot slower. Um, but again, like I can notice such a huge difference between that CPU and this one like um, the uh, I use chunky which is a program uh, so like all my photorealistic looking like renders of like my minecraft builds I use chunky which is like a rendering program and um, the it ran so much better on my old computer because it had um, a quad core CPU it had like more physical cores and like I noticed a huge uh, difference switching to this computer which like runs it's like 3.5 gigahertz I think per core or whatever see I don't know shit about computers I don't want to pretend that I do but like what I'm trying to say is that like I don't know I feel like the CPU in this computer is a lot worse than the one in my older computer alright 40. And I'm just kind of babbling at this point. I don't know. I, which is where I kind of want to go on Twitch because uh, I've been watching a lot of Twitch. I don't know if you can hear my cat in the background, but he's coughing up a hairball right now, which is just wonderful. Um, but yeah, I feel like just random ramblings is like Twitch's bread and butter. Like I, I got into Twitch um, when John Tron said all that stupid shit on uh, Destiny stream. I had never heard of Destiny 
um, before then, but then I heard all this news that like John Tron was racist or whatever. And I watched uh, the John Tron debate on Destiny's YouTube channel, not knowing who he was. Uh, and I've, I've been watching his like stream ever since on Twitch. And like, I think it's, I think Twitch is something I'd like to do. Definitely. And yeah, John Tron said some pretty racist shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'd suggest watching Destiny. He's a pretty, pretty cool dude. Sounds like. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, Twitch seems like it would make the most sense for these kind of builds uh, or let's build series things that I do. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing in the future. Uh, I don't know if I would switch over. Like, I'd still be, like, recording it and putting it on my YouTube... Oh, my God, my voice just cracked. YouTube channel. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, should I switch over from... Um, like, if should I do this mid-series? Like, I started this series on YouTube. Should I switch it over to Twitch? I don't know. I'm too tired to make these decisions. 50. Now this is 40 again. So I'm not counting up from 100. I'm just going up to 50 and then back down to 10. 40. Um, yes. But yeah. Um, and I'm probably going to cut uh, the part where I fill in all of that with grass because that's going to take forever and I'm probably just going to use MC edit to be honest but yeah thought I'd just fill in the the numbers uh, I mean I guess technically I could have just done them once and told you to mirror it on the other side but um, it is kind of different because it is like literally mirrored like as you can see the numbers don't actually line up Wait a minute. Yeah, the numbers don't actually line up. Cool. This is a zero. That's a four. That's like what I mean. But yeah. So yeah. Yeah, my computer is like it's it's getting it's getting there, I guess. I don't know how many more years I can use it. Especially for like video editing, because that's that's like what I went to school for. Um, like, I, I'm a fine arts major, but I mean I focus a lot in video, so I need like a, a good workstation. I don't know if this is gonna cut it. Why am I going to four, five again? I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Three. Good thing it's like super easy to fix. Um, but yeah. I also want to. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Um, another reason why I uh, I haven't been making too many videos is because uh, with all the work I've been doing and like stress of school and finding a job and working a job, uh, I do need some alone time to like play video games, um, which I do. Is that three backwards? Am I an idiot? Yes, I am. Been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto Online, which is like a cancerous game. I I kind of want to. How would you guys feel if I did like rants on things that I didn't like or liked or whatever? Because I have a lot to say about Grand Theft Auto Online. That game is like cancer. It's pure cancer, but I mean, for some reason I play it. It's a fun game, but there's like so much wrong with it. Oh man, getting the dips in frame rate. Um, this is like, I think usually I record 30 frames per second with Fraps. I use Fraps because like, I don't know, everyone says it's awful, but it's like the only thing I, I know. Um, but yeah. The, the file sizes are huge 
I think that goes with like any uh, like screen recorder, like high definition screen recorder or screen capture software. It's like huge files, but yeah, this will probably be like 20 gigs or like 100 gigs or something. I recorded a like hour long thing, or it might have been two hours. I, I did like a, a screen recording that was like two hours long and it was like 120 gigabytes. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah. And that was in 30 frames per second. This is 60 frames per second, per second so this is probably going to be huge. Um, I'll look at the file size when I'm done this. Um, but yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto Online. I don't know. I don't know if Rockstar just gave up or they don't care anymore, but like, I, re I remember one day I, I jumped around to like 10 different uh, lobbies, or not lobbies, um, like servers, and everyone had a, a modder that was just like rounding everyone up on the, on the server and like blowing them up or, or lighting everyone on fire or spawning people underwater. It was ridiculous. There's some modders that are cool that'll like give you money and stuff, which is funny. Like, apparently Rockstar bans you if you take modded money, which I think is stupid, because like, it's not like you can do anything with it once you have it. All right, let me fill this in. But yeah, it's like I don't know the modding in that game has just gotten out of control. It's like how Call of Duty World at War was like five years after its popularity waned. Alright, for some reason there's like a huge conglomeration of animals right here, but uh, I am now going to fill in all this gray area in between the numbers with grass. Uh, I'm not going to record this because that, that would just be a lot of me rambling and this is already getting to be super long. Um, but uh, So basically I'm just going to cut that out and come back to you when, I'm, when this is all filled in with grass. So I will see you when that is done. Okay, I'm back and as you can see I filled in uh, all the empty space or stone with uh, grass. Um, and I also did this, I deleted, um, first of all, a two a block wide border around the entire field um, and this is from here to there is 12 blocks because uh, we have to put in the 10 block um, end zone uh, plus the two block border so 12 blocks and then this is just two blocks for the two block border uh, and for the two block border we're going to be using white concrete powder again and I'm just gonna start right here go all the way down and this is gonna take a little bit but oh well this is a let's build so it's supposed to be tedious and boring <laughs> or repetitive and boring I guess um, but yeah um, again which is why twitch makes like so much sense to me which is why I kinda wanna make the switch over to it still be posting to my youtube channel but I mean, these things take forever. I, I checked, by the way, the my the the content I just recorded was 96 gigabytes worth of video, 60 frames per second. I'm guessing it recorded at 1080p, um, plus the audio, which it doesn't record that good of audio, but I mean, I guess it has to be at least okay for it to be 96 gigabytes which I know most of that is the video itself but still yeah uh, AVI file which I guess are huge I don't know why I always associated AVI files with low quality they might very well be but I mean yeah 96 gigabytes for 40 minutes of uh, recording I guess that makes sense. Um, I mean, I'm sure when I like edit this and export it, it's gonna be much smaller. But that's like, I guess it's like uncompressed. Um, 
as of right now. I don't know. So yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to have to move this over because this is going to be pretty big. Uh, I don't have any of like the bleachers planned out yet. I, I, I just kind of go along as I do this. I, I don't have, do I look like a, I guess you can't see me. I was going to quote the Dark Knight and ask if I look like a guy with a plan, but you guys can't see me because I don't have a face cam because I don't want to I don't want to see my ugly face in my videos. I just kind of want to hear my ugly voice. There's animals everywhere. Why is that? Why are they here? It's like they flock to me when they know I'm building something. I guess it's because there's grass. I guess that makes sense. They do eat grass. So that's the end zone. BT dubs. So that's going to be fun. We're going to be dealing with animals this whole time. Which, if you know my airport, let's build. Um, I don't really like animals in this game. I don't like uh, I don't like villagers either. Um, I've been doing a time lapse of a village that I've been building up over time. Basically, I'm doing like like a like a literal time lapse, I guess, of like civilization, starting with like a basic uh, village in Minecraft, and like I've been like burning it down and like building it up and like changing building styles and it's like slowly be been getting more and more modern I have like 10 hours worth of footage but like when I'm building it's like it's still a normal village so there's villagers everywhere and they keep coming up to me and trying to trade with me while I'm like building and it's annoying and you could probably see in the video me killing a couple oh my god huge yawn we're gonna use red uh, for these. For those of you wondering if I'm going to put like a team or something, it's not going to be an existing team. I guess I could put Titan something. I don't know what the mascot would be for Titan City. Um, hmm. Maybe Penguin. Penguins are cool. Or Bear. I don't know, a bear seems pretty cliche for a, a sports team. Although I like bears. Um, hmm, that's a weird animal. Like a naked... See, all the weird animals don't have names that, like, roll off the tongue. Like, wolf. Like, that's, like... It's cliche, but it, it's like a, a short name that would go good in a team name, I guess. But like Naked Mole Rat wouldn't really... It's a cool animal, but it doesn't... Oh my god, I'm so tired. It doesn't, it doesn't really make a good team name. Hmm. I guess it doesn't have to be an animal. There's like the Steelers and Jets. I kind of want it to be an animal, though. Hmm. The ants? <laughs> Let's go with ants. Titan ants. I guess that makes sense. Or the llamas. Titan city llamas. Let's do llamas. Llamas are cool. And um, my favorite game has a weird obsession with llamas. I I grew up playing SimCity, and uh, I I don't know how much it carries over into the other uh, installments in the series, but I played a lot of SimCity Four, and like I know that they would mention it, like when loading a world, they would say like weird things, like generating like water or weird shit like that and I think it 
mentioned llamas in that. And there was like a cheat you could do where it turned all your, your advisors' heads into llama heads. I don't know why. But basically in SimCity you get all these advisors telling you different things like uh, you have like the uh, like environmental advisor telling you to stop polluting and like the traffic advisor or health and public safety advisor telling you to build more prisons and shit like that. And the uh, traffic advisor, transportation advisor telling you to um, stop building streets and to build highways and all that shit and public transportation. Basically, and they, they're represented as these like little heads, but you could turn them into llamas with a uh, cheat. I think the cheat was Dalai Lama. Get it? Because llama? I don't know, man. Let's do Titan City Llamas. Why not? <laughs> also, Film Cal did those funny cartoons with llamas. Alright. This is taking forever. I would have filled this in uh, via... MC edit like I did with the grass but this is a brand new block and I have an old version of MC edit so it's not I it's not in the library of blocks I can pick from to fill in areas unfortunately now oh, there's chickens sweet yeah also I have a um, I've always had a planet minecraft um, page ever since uh, 2014 but if you guys are interested in downloads there's like a bunch of downloads uh, on my uh, planet minecraft page which is linked in my banner it should be the second one over next to twitch it's like a little picture of a globe a little globe icon if you click on that it'll go to the planet minecraft page where you can see all of the schematics and world saves that I've that I've put up for downloads. It's where I, it's where the Titan City downloads are, uh, but I've also been posting a bunch of like single building builds. I have like a bunch of projects in the work works. I'm also doing like a SimCity type thing where it's uh, SimCity within Minecraft, and everything's like based on chunks. So it's like everything's. Uh, like the size of things are determined by chunks so like small buildings are like two chunks whereas uh, bigger medium sized buildings are like four chunks um, stuff like that and like so far I've built like fire departments and police stations like the public safety kind of stuff then I'm gonna build schools then I'm gonna build roads and like power plants and all that shit so it'll basically be like little it, it'll be like some city where you can just download like the buildings as individual schematics and just kind of like plan out your city like sim city in like mc edit which would be pretty cool obviously there isn't the um it's like not like it isn't like you can grow buildings like in uh, sim city where you like lay down zoning all right there is our field pretty cool if you ask me now to put titan llamas how many letters is that t-i-t-a-n-l-l-a-m-a-s so 11 is there two l's in llamas i always let's find out consult the google llama oh there's only one l I was thinking of the Dalai Lama. Oh, wait, no, shit. Oh. <laughs> Lama is title of a teacher of the Dharma in Tibetan Buddhism. Alright, so. Oh, wait a minute. So, Lama is a genus. Okay. But the animal is two L, so I was right. So eleven. So where's the? This is fifty-three blocks. So 
There should be a single block as the center, which I'm guessing is like here. Is it? No. So 52, so it would be 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Holy shit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know what? Fuck it. Um, this is a good place. This is like already an hour long. I'm going to do all like the customization of this field in the next episode. But right now, I think this is a good place to um, to sign off. Uh, we got the, the basic field laid out. All that good stuff. I'm uh, going to do a zoom around. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, next episode we're going to put the logo in the center, Titan Llamas on each of the end zones, and probably start uh, getting a feel for the surrounding area. Like, I'm probably going to fill this in uh, with some sort of material, probably not grass, but like some sort of turf looking material, um, and then the walls of the... Um, the stadium will go around that, followed by the bleachers. So we're gonna kind of work our way out uh, from the from the stadium uh, field. But yep, uh, that's pretty much it. I will see you next episode. Uh, I would say be sure to check out the previous episode if you want to follow along. But this is the first episode, so there's you can't. You're already at square one, so yeah. Uh, be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Have a good day.